What is up world? I'm Joe Kid and this is Crutch, the 18 and up Vimeo channel for weed lovers and cannabis patients alike. And thank you for tuning in today's session. It is definitely a special surprise one as you guys can tell by the title. We're doing a time bomb, but in a bong. So a time bong. You get what I mean. Now this is not what I originally planned to do. My, you know, my bong's a little dirty and everything, but I was gonna do a giant rips of a tiny bong session, but while I was setting up to do that, the stem for our little baby bong here took an accident, and now it is resting in pieces. You know what I'm saying? So, I already, I was smoking this bong all day. This has been my driver of late. We'll talk about that more in a little bit in this set. And I just picked up some new weed, hit it with the close up. I was already planning to smoke a joint out of it. So once my video plans fell through, I was like, hey, you know what, I'm already smoking bongs, thinking about rolling a joint, why don't we do it on camera? And so here we are. This is gonna take a little bit of time to get down the joint, I think, so uh, we might as well get this, this process started. If you've never been to a time bomb sesh before here on Crutch, it's called the time bomb because like the, like the wick, like the fuse of a bomb, you light the joint, it burns down, burns down, and then once it gets to the bowl, it burns all the weed from the inside out. So you get like the widest, biggest bong rip ever. So that's why it's called a time bomb. And I think the biggest issue lighting this up on this setup is, you know, the top of the joint is so close to here. I don't want to burn my face off. How are we gonna do this here? It's going. Got a little bong water on my lips. That's never fun. But we got the joint going. I didn't burn my hair off. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. All right, so we got two decent hits of this so far, and it is burning strong. Uh, I got I gotta hit it lighter, I think, because I keep getting bong water in my mouth, which is no fun, especially on a dirty bong here. So I guess that's coming back to bite me. But I uh, hope you guys are smoking along. Let me know down south in the comments. What up, Vimeo fam? I'll see you down south there. Say what's up. Let me know what you're smoking on and where you're tuning in from. I'll see you down there. I see all you guys here on Vimeo. Almost at a thousand. Share the links with a friend. Let's hit this again. Knock some ash off there. That's the biggest hassle with time bomb. Maybe later in the session, maybe on the next time we have to ash it, we'll take the bowl out and see if we can't tip it. But you don't want to knock the, the joint out of the bowl, and you certainly don't want to mess up any form of airflow or else air sealant you have with the weed that's packed in around that joint. <sighs> Let's rip this again. Whew. Yeah, now we're ripping it good. Let's see if we can't ash this. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just gonna give it a nice little tap. Yeah, nice little flick of the bowl, you know what I'm saying? So you don't knock the joint around too much. So now that we're getting high a little bit, I think I've gotten from a solid like zero to a three so far. This isn't like an instant blast session. The instant blast comes at the end of this kind of session. But now I'm feeling good. Let's talk a little bit about how to do a time bomb if you've never done it before. Pretty simple. I know we talked about it. It's just the joint stuck down into the weed and the weed you're tucked down into the bowl and you put a bunch of weed in there and you pack it in nice and tight. But uh, here's a few tips after we rip this one more time. That was a fun rip, how about that? Oh man, I don't know if you can see that, but it canoed the shit out of this joint. We might have to, we might have to do some maintenance there. I was ripping it so hard so consistently because it's not milking up the way a normal bong rip does. Side effect, side, side side effect, that makes sense, right? Of doing a time bomb as opposed to just doing a regular bowl. Which stay tuned if you're not following us yet, follow us here on Vimeo. I know I've already said it once, but I'll say it a million times until you do it. Follow us on Vimeo because we have a bunch of more Crutch Classics coming at you all the time as well. We have a lot of epic, famous, infamous, 
Time Bomb Sessions. So, stay tuned, you don't want to miss that. Crutch Classics, always a good thing. I made an album on Vimeo, and you can go to my page and click on albums. It's like a playlist that you used to have on YouTube, you know? Then you can watch all the old videos in a row. Maybe once we get more videos up here, I'll play with the albums even more. Let me know what you think about them in the comments. I'm getting a little stoned here. Let's rip this again. What's going on here? Maintenance time. Maintenance time. It's burning. It canoed down to the bottom there, and now that went out and it's just burning at the top. So we're not getting the airflow that we need. So we're gonna try to knock that around and try to burn some of this off. Maybe try to relight this. How's that sound, everybody? Pretty good to me. I'm gonna tap the bowl a couple times, get that little top paper off, and see if we can't relight this and keep this time bomb, time bong going. Whew. High maintenance is scary. It gives me anxiety trying to save the joint, you know? It's not what you want. I will say one thing, it's one way to smoke a whole joint and really get that joint taste and that joint high but blasted to you more than when you just smoke a joint regularly, smoking in the bong, you know? Because in the bong, you're, you're able, when, you're, when you clear it, you're able to get that huge blast to the, to the bottom of your lungs and it's just such a wide, even, cool down because of the water and percolation smoke filling your mouth rather than that really harsh tip of the joint thing you get in your mouth, you know? Sometimes it's hard to fill up your lungs because the joint gets so hot and your lungs right away. So if you're a joint lover, you know, even though we're having some problems here today, I'd say give this a try sometime if you want to try to feel a joint with some percolation. Well, I didn't even finish how to, how to make this properly. My top tips for doing this. Now we're getting somewhere a little bit of time. So I'm getting a little close here, we're a few hits away. So real quick, if you're gonna do this, make sure you stick your joint without a crutch. Of course, you don't wanna smoke that. Smoke your raw joint tip all the way down to the hole of the empty bowl. You don't wanna put any weed in it first because you wanna be able to have the most air suction through the bong bowl or the bowl in general. Then you take your weed, usually helps if it's sticky weed, and you pack it in and make sure it's even on both sides. Make sure that you seal off the joint so when you hit, hit it, it actually gets some airflow. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it stands up nice and easy, even. You want it to be an even burn through the center when your time bomb goes off. Let's get, we're one step away. Let's knock that step out. Let's get this time bong happening. <sighs> My breathing's getting it. Ooh, these are starting to milk up and turn in some real hits here. All right. Time bong is happening real soon here. It's canoeing, but the sesh about to go up a whole nother step. You ready for it? Crush 420, let's do this. <laughs> That's a milky lung full. That's a time bomb lung full right there. The time bomb has begun. Oh, I feel that one in my eyeballs. Let's do this. It builds up this bog like right away when you hit it. Oh, that's crazy. That's impactful. Now we're getting to a whole nother level of high here in this session. How you guys feeling? Hit me on Twitter at Crutch420. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the great things with bongs is uh, they force you to inhale all the way. I think that's why bongs are so powerful. 
you know, so uh, popular. Man, did that jump my eye off the diving board, you know what I'm saying, guys? Oh, wow. Did we even talk about the strain in question? We did not. Man, this, this has been one of the, one hell of a set. Straight into this joint, into this bowl. It's called Burkel? Yeah, that's right. Hit it with a close up. I didn't want to show you that close up for too long, although you saw there, it is one of the most beautiful, most colorful nugs we've ever had. That nug right there is a perfect eight, covered with those deep, beautiful purples and deep, dark greens. Kind of like a Too Faced nug with the purple and the green. Beautiful keyfinch. The only reason I'm telling you so much about it is you guys need to stick around. You need to get your notifications on and follow us here on Vimeo uh, so you do not miss later this week when we have a strain review on this Burkle strain. I always forget it. It's a weird name. Let's do this again, guys. Thanks for tuning in. All right, now the joint's gone. It's just the just the center burning cherry. <laughs> Mamma mia. That's a great way <laughs> to smoke a bong, the time bong. You guys saw it here, Crush420, the Vimeo channel. Oh, wow. I am in this bong blitzed in a good long while. Listen with the Instagram, if you're not following me, Follow me on uh, at Crutch Instagram at Crutch420. At Crutch underscore 420 really is what we're saying here. Uh, that's how we Instagram while filming. Never done that before. Wow, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I had to bring this bong back because I've had this bong for coming up on two and a half, maybe even three years. I've had this for a very long time. It's a double percolation. has a platinum label on the back, so that's pretty cool. But I've never used this bong as much as I have in the last week or two. And I've always, it's always been my least favorite bong we had and never used it more than once and then didn't put it away for a long time, you know what I'm saying? But it's made a comeback, you know, I was thrown off because I didn't understand the percolation water level. You have to have low water in here, which is kind of bizarre. But once you nail it and you figure it out, you know how to smoke it, right? This may be ripped and the percolation is insane. So shout out to this bong and thank you to Cooper Hopkins for making all the crutch music for this video. <coughs> and all the video. <laughs> That's a high weed burp right there. Uh, Cooper's links are down in the description. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Thanks for following us. Thanks for supporting us and keeping up. And stay tuned because we got a lot of big things happening over this next week. And share this link with your friend or Vimeo because a uh, uh, thousand followers coming right on up. But most importantly, folks, you guys know what you got to do. You got to stay high. Peace out. Woo!